In this video, I will show you how to use the Zotero Word plugin. Specifically, we will cover the word processor download, inserting in-text citations and references, inserting a bibliography, editing entries in Zotero, and selecting and changing citation styles. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have the Zotero Word plugin installed. You can do so by opening up the Edit tab, clicking on Preferences, make sure you're on the Site tab, then finally clicking on Word Processors. As you can see, it says my Microsoft Word add-in is currently installed. Now, I'm going to pull up a Word document, and you can see here that there is a Zotero tab that is installed on my Microsoft Word. This allows you to add citations as you write and create bibliographies within the Word document. Now let's talk about adding in-text citations as you write. So if this is my quote and I want to add my in-text citation here where my cursor is, I will click on the Add Edit Citation button here and then make sure my desired style is selected. So in this case, I'm choosing APA. Then I'll click OK and I can type in the information I know to find the source. So the author, title, year, all work as long as the information is in your Zotero library. So I'll search an author I know. So you can see here, this um, is going to pop up and I can just click on it and then click enter and then it is inserted. And I can add a few more, so I'll click enter and say another quote. And again, I'm going to click on the add edit citation. And again, I'll search, um, I'll search a year, so 2019. Can click here, so McDevitt and Ormond. Click enter, and then it will be inserted. Just to add one more, I will say, here is a quote. Then I will add edit citation and I'll search CDC and insert this here. Now that I have added some in-text citations, I can generate a bibliography from the citations I've added as I write. I will create a page break, and then type in bibliography, and then I can click on Add Edit Bibliography. As you can see, it generated my um, citations in alphabetical order as I have added them um, in my in-text citations. Now, I am noticing some errors and it's possible to edit in Word. For APA specifically, um, you wanna make sure any proper nouns or acronyms are capitalized as well as the first letter of the first word following a colon in your article title. So, uh, for example, if I want to edit this article title to be APA style, I can do so. I am editing here. So that is edited now. However, if I click on refresh, it will revert back to what it was. So to ensure any errors are corrected, you will need to actually edit your entry in Zotero. So I'll pull up Zotero here, and 
I can edit my entry here. Now here is my article title. If I right click, I can change it to sentence case. So that will automatically change, change my title to lower case. Now with APA format, I do want to edit in here and change the first letter of the first word following the colon to be uppercase. And you can also edit some other things. So for example, um, I cited the CDC. And here's my um, CDC article entry. With my author, the CDC is a corporate author um, per se. So it doesn't have a last name comma first name. I can actually come over here and hover over this, um, this field and switch to single field. So here I can just say, have CDC as my author. Um, you can switch back and forth to um, just depending on how you need to, to edit your entries. And again, I can say sentence case here, and I would want to capital, capitalize US. US. So my entries are now edited within Zotero. Now I'll go back to my Word document and click on refresh. And now you can see my entries are edited to be correct. Now, if you cited this entire document in APA format when it was really supposed to be in MLA, you are not out of luck. You can go to the document preferences and then select MLA style and click OK. And that will automatically update my citations um, as well as my in-text citations. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any more questions about using Zotero, you can ask a Mercer librarian for help.